Greetings fellow YouTubers. Uh, this is just a little update on the procession of the equinox. Um, here are some more findings uh, if you're interested. Um, one of the most vital pieces of information I just discovered is simply this. Um, when we take a look at the Earth, uh, the upper atmosphere itself, um, we can see a trend. Uh, we can actually see what our Earth is doing right now. Um, the fact is, there is storms everywhere. But the major um, valuable piece of evidence um, is evident as these uh, cloud formations begin to dissipate um, in a manner of sense where there's not swirling and twirling and whipping as quickly as they are when the earth is in an acceleration mode. Um, what we have discovered is this. The earth does appear to be slowing at this very moment. Um, the reason we know is by looking at the upper atmosphere and the cloud formations worldwide. Um, the slowing trend of the rotation itself is evident in the cloud formations and the <clears throat> amount of whipping and twirling they do. Um, this is a valuable research uh, tool and we can see the changes um, of the axis and also we can see the change in the spin and the acceleration and the slowing of the wobble through the procession. It was my understanding that we had completed the procession and what we have learned is this. The procession is only partially complete because we now have evidence of the actual location of Nibiru and uh, at this point it is at its final um, the final moment where it uh, whips away from us and releases the hold that it has on the earth and on our Sun um, you see, by viewing the upper atmosphere, we already know that the two air masses are reversing. Um, when you see the clouds and the whipping action in an acceleration period, we clearly see the evidence um, of that in the amount of swirl and energy that is being released into the uh, new cloud formations themselves. Um, now viewing them over time of a period of about a month now, we are at a point once again where the Earth does appear to be slowing. Um, this valuable information is only learned when you uh, when you brainstorm and when you uh, try to find evidence and stop looking towards others um, to to give you the answers. Um, now here's the fact. If the oceans are rising, there is another factor that is being dismissed, and that is the angle itself of the plate. Okay, the plate of America is the plate I'm speaking of. We know that this plate rises on the west, and therefore it slopes down in the east. Um, what we learn is how the continental shelf itself was formed in the same manner um, due to two bedrocks meeting and consider all the sand that was between them and as the uh, plate itself shifts towards the east and in an inclined position from the west we realize that the bedrock below is very unstable. Um, the torque that is placed on the earth 
uh, we've already seen the uh, destruction and the evidence of that. Um, <clears throat> so we can now, good understanding, say that there may be uh, another acceleration period and therefore another movement in the axis itself. Um, it's becoming evident now that it's about to happen. Um, now we went through four lunar cycles and now we're on our fifth. We know things come in pairs and there's two pairs at least. Uh, this final pair, this final lunar cycle will be very trying on us and very trying on the plates themselves and our earth. Therefore, um, there may be enough evidence now to um, see that there may be an actual plate shift uh, that brings the east coast of the USA on a uh, <clears throat> on a steeper angle, therefore um, pushing us down into the ocean itself, the continental shelf, creating and forming a new shelf. Um, so it's it's a valuable tool, and it's pretty much the only tool that we have right now at our disposal rather than um, the satellite you know technology that they're using to actually time the rotation of our earth and the spin uh, we can see that there was a slowing in the spin of our Sun and therefore now we see the transfer of energy and the slowing of spin in our earth and to verify we simply uh, take a look at the global air masses and how they are moving and the the shapes uh, that they form and get an idea of spin faster or spin slower uh, during the acceleration period we had a uh, very severe weather and it was immediate um, I did give you the warning and it was a, a factual effect that we learned and we discovered so this next little effect that we can now put into use is simply this. The Earth does appear to be slowing because the circular formations and the whipping effect of the upper atmosphere and the clouds have kind of petered out a little bit. Um, noticeable enough where we can say that there is a slowing happening right now. Um, this slowing um, is going to give way pretty soon. If it doesn't happen tonight or tomorrow, um, you know, consider the next day a guarantee. Because we learn something else, and we continue to learn when we have the facts and the evidence. And the word is Passover. Today is Passover, my friends, so um, happy Passover, and God bless you all. Um, now, put it to use and try to understand what the word Passover really means. And that definitely means that our sun, our binary star Nibiru, is now passing over. Um, putting all the clues together. Uh, we're waiting for the Easter tides and the flood flood levels to rise now. Um, as this slowing effect is taking place right now, it won't last very long. Um, it was two to three days the last time. Uh, we're probably at least two days into it. So at any moment, uh, we should see another acceleration. Uh, but with it, uh, the final... Um, movement in the axis and then you will see the weather become much more destructive um, after this fact so uh, please be aware and if you're on the coastlines now get ready to get all the stuff you need to get out soon because the next storm um, is most likely gonna f flood uh, those those low-lying areas next to the ocean and especially if you experienced that over the last couple storms. Uh, so, you know, peace be with you. Learn something. Use this special tool that we now have to our advantage. The, uh, the, um
ominous uh, northeaster lies and has not moved. Um, it's very sneaky of these people 